I'm taking a break from my canyon riding here to conduct a small experiment that I've been working on for a while. I want to see if I can measure counter steer. Um, not sure that I can, because counter steer is a really controversial topic amongst some motorcyclists. You can get onto a forum, and I have a hard time reading them, to be honest, because they quickly become very emotional. And I'm not the kind of guy who wants to dive into that. I'd rather just go out and see if I can measure it, right? If, if either we counter steer or we don't, and you should be able to detect counter steer. Um, so what I've got here is a camera set up. Let's see if I can measure it. Now, what you should not do is what I tried to do at first. I just naively think that I could look down at the handlebars and see if I was counter steering, right? I mean, if I'm in the middle of a left hand sweeper, I should be able to look down. If I'm doing, if I'm not counter steering, my bars should look like this, pointing my wheel in the left. If I'm counter steering, my bars should be like that. That's what. I, that not only is that extremely dangerous, but your counter steering uh, amounts are way smaller than that. They're very hard to see. And uh, you're not going to catch them in a glance. You're going to need to really look at the bar in the middle of a corner. And that's going to be so dangerous that I have to say it again, don't do it. So I, th I thought, well, if that's a good technique, I can't be looking. But what if I set up my helmet cam to look? Um, and I couldn't get a good setup. I haven't been yet been able to get a good setup for doing that. Because what I want is the handlebar in the picture. I want the speedometer. I want the frame of the bike so you can see which way I'm turning. And I want to see what's, what way we're going on the road. And I think to do that, I would have to set up a camera somewhere like two feet behind my head or something. I, I couldn't come up with a good setup for that with one camera. And I thought, hey, let's use two cameras and just sync them up. So what I've got here is my little handheld, my little Fuji uh, picture camera that um, uh, does have a video mode in it. So I'm going to start it up. Let's get it going. Wake up, little Fuji. And I'm going to start recording with it. And it's videotaping the handlebar. It's just what I want. It's getting my handlebar, my, my fork crown in the shot. It's getting the speedometer. And it's getting the frame so you can see the relative movement of the handlebar to the bike. So when I turn to the left, you'll see this. When I turn to the right, you'll see that. Uh, and I can sync the two of them because I'm playing the same audio over both. I'm going to fade the audio back and forth. And so, so that's my synchronization. synchronization. So I know they're both synced up. I'm going to start with a control. One thing that is not controversial amongst motorcyclists is what direction you turn at low speeds. At low speeds, when you turn left, you use the handlebar, turn the handlebar to the left to turn left. So I should be able to measure that. If my little uh, dual camera setup works here, I should be able to do this little control and see it behaving that way. So let's do some figure eights here. I'll call out what direction I'm going. You'll be able to see what direction I'm going and see what direction the, the handlebars are rotating at the same time. I'm presuming that's going to work. I'm going to head out on Ortega Highway here, starting at the candy store, those of you who know the area. If you don't, just go look at Google Maps. Uh, it's, it's easy to find the candy store. And this big, beautiful um, S sweeper that's two ginormous, uh, like over 180 degree switchbacks in quick succession. So here we go. Little parking lot, low speed maneuver. Turning to the left, looking to the left. Hey everybody, this is future me <laughs> coming in after the fact to take a look at things. What we want to look at, I'll warn you, the movements as we counter as we go through the corners are very small. The best thing to do is look at this black bundle of wires. It's the clutch cable and the uh, control cluster wires coming off the handlebar grip. Um, and watch their movement relative to this bolt that holds up the windscreen. That's the best way to watch things as we go forward. That's what a left hand turn looks like at low speeds. Transitioning to right, my little figure eight here. You should see what it looks like on the handlebar. And I'm just gonna kinda zigzag back to the left again here on my way out of the parking lot so we can see more of what this picture in picture looks like as we turn different directions. Now, what I'm the hard thing I'm having a hard time a, a time doing, I think I'm having a hard time doing, is getting a nice clear spot on the freeway uh, on Ortega Highway on a Saturday. It looks like I've got it. it. Looks like I've got it. Looks like I've got a gap. Nice gap to play with. So we're off. Now, a couple things you should know. <laughs> so here we are, traveling in a straight line. You'll notice that the clutch cable covers up part of that bolt. And if you remember how the control works, when we turn to the left, you will see more of that bolt. And when we turn to the right, 
the clutch cable will cover up more of that bolt. I'm not a sport biker, this is not a sport bike, so I'm not doing super high speeds. Those of you who are and are take, able to take these corners twice the speed that I can, I hope uh, that the speeds are still useful enough to be valuable. Here we just did a, a right-hander, a little high, right, mild right-hand sweeper, a uh, mild left-hander coming up here. I don't know if these will be enough to show counter steer or not, but it doesn't matter because now we've got the featured corner here where people ride with no feet on their pegs. I'm going to start my big S hand, my big S with the left hand. And you'll know what I'm doing partly by the sound of the motor. I'm getting into a nice steady state here. Sweeping to the left. You will observe that consistently throughout this big, long, steady state left hand sweeper, you can see just a little tiny bit more of that bolt, which indicates that I'm turning the bar into the curve rather than counter steering. As I come out of it, which takes forever, this, this, this corner goes, uh, curve goes forever, now I'm coming out of it, hit a little throttle, get back off the throttle and set up for the next one to the right, get into a nice steady state for this one. And sure enough, we're getting some consistency here as we turn to the right. The clutch cable is covering up a little more of that bolt, which indicates that the bar is being rotated towards the right and that we are steering into the turn as we go in the other direction rather than counter steering once again. Now I'm sweeping to the right. We should be able to look at the handlebar camera and see if I'm counter steering or not at this time and uh, what, what speed I'm doing. So now we're coming out of this righty into a lefty. Speeds are coming up a little bit because these aren't such big deep corners. Nothing dramatic for me. A couple more lefts. One last left and a right and it straightens out. Well, we had just enough gap on the road here to work with because I'm coming up behind a truck. <laughs> but that's all right. So I'm going to back off a little bit. Eventually, someday maybe. Oh my gosh! This guy is... Wow, I've never seen anything like that. Well, I guess they can come out here on this road. So um, I can't get around him. I cannot pass somebody like him on this road. So I'm just going to vlog as we observe the ref load of refrigerators, I guess. Um, and uh, next I'm going to take this back to the, um, to the laboratory <laughs> where Igor and I will analyze our results and see what we come up with. What I come up with is that under these circumstances, during steady state cornering, that I was steering into the corner a tiny amount rather than counter steering.